welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Masked Singer contestants that should have won. Open up my eager eye, I the bright side. For this list, we're looking at the most impressive performances on the mystery singing show that deserved better. Since contestants' placements and identities will be discussed, a spoiler alert is now in effect. Which of these stars were you rooting for? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Dionne Warwick as the Mouse Music icon Shaka Khan had already been unmasked this season, so audiences probably didn't expect another legend to follow suit. Yet that's exactly what happened. The mouse made it to the Group B playoffs, but was then revealed to be the inimitable Dionne Warwick. We can all agree that she was eliminated before her time, but we'll always cherish hearing her sing Get Here by Olita Adams and This Will Be an Everlasting Love by Natalie Cole. An everlasting love. Granted, the clue packages and performances made it easy for the fans and panel to suss out the woman behind the mouse. You, you. But maybe some voices are simply too legendary to mask. Number 9. Victor Oladipo as Thingamajig. But I refuse to let you go. If I have to beg and plead for your sympathy. Thingamajig had us all melting thanks to his mellow vocals and smooth stage presence. And with a costume that tall, we had an inkling there was an NBA player hidden underneath. That's why I'm easy. Even so, he entranced us with renditions of songs like Easy by Commodores, Rainbow by Casey Musgraves, and Ordinary People by John Legend. This wasn't his first time singing either, as he had previously recorded an EP and album. Indeed, he surpassed several highly trained singers to make it all the way to episode 11. Finishing in fifth place, Oladipo was still unmasked too soon. Oh, you were right, kid! NBA All-Star and Indiana Pacer, Victor Oladipo! Needless to say, we could listen to his voice all day. Number 8. Nick Carter as the Crocodile Here's a sentence we never thought we'd say. The season 4 finale was a fierce battle between Crocodile, Mushroom, and Sun. And while Leanne Rimes was a worthy winner, Nick Carter nailed his performances week after week. It's my sang everything from Bon Jovi's It's My Life to Leona Lewis's Bleeding Love, showcasing his incredibly wide range in the process. Plus, he was always cool, suave, and super entertaining. Despite some pretty clear clues, the Backstreet Boy finished in third place. Interestingly enough, Carter was originally meant to compete on the show's third season as Turtle. Still, he made the crocodile his own, and won all of our hearts. Number 7. Jojo as the Black Swan As soon as we heard the Black Swan sing, we knew she was a powerhouse. And so did the panel, who threw out guesses like Demi Lovato, Normani, and Monica. While we tried to piece the clues together, our feathered friend repeatedly blew our minds. She covered everyone from Ed Sheeran and Michael Bolton to Stevie Wonder and Whitney Houston. Really Her talent was practically unparalleled, so a win seemed inevitable. The Masked Singer is a singing contest after all. Yet she was the runner-up, with Nick Lachey's Piglet snagging the trophy. Even so, award-winning artist JoJo proved that she was swan in a million. Award winning 
musical powerhouse, singer, songwriter, and actress JoJo. Number six, Patti LaBelle as the flower. Working out to Whether she was singing Dolly Parton, Sia, or Hart, Flower truly blossomed throughout her time in the competition. Of course, it's kinda hard to disguise your voice when you're a Grammy-winning superstar and the godmother of soul, so it didn't take long for most people to root out the performer behind the mask. And despite numerous unbelievable performances, LaBelle was shockingly weeded out of the competition during the eighth episode. Still, the icon took the whole experience in stride and said she was flattered that audiences knew her sound so well. While it wasn't the most unexpected unmasking, we were definitely surprised that it happened so soon. I knew it! <laughs> Mrs. Patty LaBelle! <laughs> the godmother of soul! Number 5. Jesse McCartney as the Turtle. On The Masked Singer could you see a frog, turtle, and night angel go head-to-head -head in an epic showdown. Early on, audiences had a strong feeling that the rockin' reptile was singer Jesse McCartney, so we weren't all that taken aback when he finally came out of his shell. What did shock us, however, was that he finished in second place. His performances were powerful, and he quickly won everyone over. The Golden Mask ended up going to reality star and singer-songwriter Candy Burris, aka Night Angel. But many believed that the beautiful soul singer was the season's true winner. Number 4. Chris Daughtry as the Rottweiler oh, comes, watch out for, you up. Following his debut performance of Hall & Oates' Maneater, Rottweiler quickly marked his territory and became the one to watch. His song choices were brilliantly calculated, showcasing his talent without giving him away. Every performance was practically flawless and incredibly heartfelt. I couldn't imagine a more deserving winner, but it simply wasn't meant to be. I'm alive. I'm alive. The American Idol alum was outfoxed by comedian and actor Wayne Brady, who was also a great champion. Unfortunately, Chris Daughtry missed out on getting the top prize once again. But as they say, every dog has its day. Number 3. Gladys Knight as the Bee I can't make you love me if you don't. Beautiful, beautiful. She has multiple Grammy Awards, number ones, and Hall of Fame inductions to her name. Yet the Empress of Soul somehow failed to secure a masked singer victory, much to the disbelief of audiences. This queen bee came in third in a season that saw Monster, now better known as T-Pain, get the win. Considering the magnitude of her fame and talent, it's impressive that she made it so far without getting unmasked. The legendary Gladys Knight! I told you! I told you! Still, her placement was hard to swallow for viewers, many of whom felt that she was robbed. Thankfully, the experience left Knight herself buzzing. We can certainly all agree that she is the bee's knees. Number 2. Donny Osmond as the Peacock Yes, we know that Gladys Knight and Donny Osmond competed in the same finals, but this Peacock proved he was the greatest showman from week one. So tell me, do you wanna go? With joyously theatrical performances, he continuously set himself apart from the competition. He fully embraced the spotlight, and his energy was contagious. We might have figured out who was shaking a tail feather pretty quickly, thanks in part to his sister Marie, but every performance left us wanting more. Bend over, let me see 
so we were sure that he would be crowned the winner, especially after B's shock elimination. But despite his impeccable performances, Peacock finished in second place. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Tony Braxton as the Pufferfish. Even with a mask underneath the mask, this star delivered epic performances. Seven-time Grammy Award-winning superstar, Tony Braxton! <laughs> Aloe Black as the Mushroom. This fun guy kept us guessing until the very end. Jackie Ivanko as the Kitty. We were gutted to see this impressive talent go. Shaka Khan as Miss Monster. She definitely deserved the trophy. Oh my goodness! Shaka Khan! The iconic superstar Kid Tiger! Seal as the Leopard. His elimination shocked us all. So let me get straight to the point. I don't fool around with every man I see. Hey, big spender. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Tori Kelly as the Seahorse This masked singer proved that she wasn't seahorsing around on the show's fourth season. Taking on icons like Britney Spears and Celine Dion, she quickly became a panelist and fan favorite. I must confess that my loneliness is killing me now. Sadly, Crocodile got the best of her, and she was sent home during the semifinals. But before she swam away, Seahorse's head was removed, and we saw that she was none other than singer-songwriter Tori Kelly. The Grammy Award-winning star used her skillful vocal impressions to keep everyone guessing for weeks. And it worked on most of us. When I'm not with you, I lose my mind. Give me a sign. Hit me, baby, one more time. Her renditions were engaging, powerful, and incredibly precise. In other words, she did everything right and definitely deserved a win. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.